Welcome to Labmo Studio, the world's first multi-user production environment. But what is Labmo Studio? First, it's a truly multi-user environment. Secondly, it will allow to produce content with very reduced hardware needs. It will also allow to operate from a very visual and intuitive graphical user interface. It is a modular and scalable system allowing to choose the features and increase the number of users. And it was initially designed for engineering and operation training. But let's see how it works. The first step to start working with Labmo Studio is to log in. To log in, you will introduce your username and password and connect to the right server. Then we will choose whether we want to work as an engineer or operator. We choose engineer and we will start creating our production environment. First thing to do is to select the rooms that our studio will have. So we now create one video room and one playout room. What we now have are two empty rooms with no devices. Just like when you start designing a real studio environment. Now it's time to select the devices that we want in our room. Since this is a video room, we will drive some SDI Live inputs into the room. We will also add an HDMI Live feed. Add the name of the Live feed. And now we might want to use some saved content. For that purpose, we will be using our embedded audio and video server. That will allow me to use my own video clips. With this step, I have all the video sources I need for my program creation. Just by adding an 8x8 virtual matrix will allow me to drive a signal to other devices such as video mixers. My content sources need now to be connected. We must select the connection mode and drag and drop from the source device to the destination device. By repeating this step, we can have all our devices connected together. So now we have four content sources, one 8x8 matrix and one video mixer connected together. Since we will probably want the program output of our video mixer to be taken to many different destinations, we will add a 2x2 two two matrix, connect the outputs of the video mixer to the matrix, and add monitors to my studio layout. This will allow us to have embedded monitoring in the application. But we probably want our program output to be used in other rooms. That's why we will add some video and audio room outputs. Following the same process, we will create our playout room. We will add our room inputs, a content server, and a playout server that will allow us to create our own playlist of contents. We will now add a monitor and an SDI output. Now that we have designed our rooms, we need to connect them together. So we can drive signals from the video room to the playout room. So in a few steps, we created our simple studio environment. Now we will select the access privileges for all our users. So just by checking the boxes for each user, we can select whether he has access rights or operation rights. Access and operation restrictions can be applied at configuration level, at room level, or at device level. Now we need to save our studio layout, give it a name, and activate the configuration so it can be used in operation mode. Now let's take a look at more complex configurations. This configuration has four rooms. You can see how complex the configurations can be. In this case, this is the video room, the audio room, the playout room, and the outputs room. Even more complex configurations can be designed with Labmo Studio. This configuration has seven rooms. One room will have all the live inputs, SDI feeds, HDMI feeds, and then route all the signals to the next room. All signals will come to this room, 
and will be routed to other rooms in the studio. This is a video and audio control room. A secondary video and audio control room. A recording room. A player room containing the playout server. And an output room that in this case will only contain an SDI output. And now we will see our production center in operation. First thing to do is select operation mode just by clicking on the corresponding button and top menu. Now we are in operation mode and we have to select the correct format for our HDMI input. We open the corresponding monitor and configure the audio video matrix so we can see the signal in our monitor. We will immediately start watching the video content on our monitor. Then we will select the audio video server and select the video clip that we want to play back. Open the corresponding monitor and configure again the matrix so we can see the contents on our monitor. Once again, as we configure the matrix, we will start watching our contents on the display. Now let's see what we can do with our audio and video server. First, we will stop the playback and then we'll move backwards and then forward. Now we will start playing with our video mixer, just like if we were in a real studio environment. Just like we did previously, now we have to configure our audio video matrix to drive the signals from the inputs to the correct outputs, so they become inputs to our video mixer. Once we set up our matrix, by selecting the correct inputs in bus A and bus B, we will start watching our video in our program monitor. By playing with our T-bar, we can select bus A or bus B in our program output. We can now add some titles. Just by selecting the titles, we want to be printed on screen with our character generator. We can switch the background video and we can add some transitions such as swipes fade out fade in we will now add some nice effects to bus B signal we will start with chroma keying and we will select in bus B which signal we want to be the key. Since LabMoon Studio was initially designed as a training tool, we allow the user to choose what color will be exchanged by the background video. In this case, we will select a light blue. So everything in bus B that contains light blue will be replaced by the video picture in bus A. We can replace the color anytime and we can adjust the tolerance and the softness. Now we will choose white, so everything with white in bus B will be replaced by video in bus A. The next nice effect that we provide in LabMoon Studio is picture in picture. So the user will select what portion of video in bus B will be windowed over bus A picture. Picture-in-picture -picture settings can be changed anytime. So the user can change the position of the window, which will be updated live. Or decide what portion of the bus B video will be overlaid over bus A. And again, Choose the position and change it anytime.
Now we will start working audio. For that, we will switch to our audio room and open the audio mixer. The audio mixer in Labmoon Studio has four stereo inputs. Either input can be muted or can be selected as solo. We can adjust the gain or adjust the fading level of each input. We also have a balance control so we can hear right channel, left channel, just both channels. By increasing the gain, we will distort our audio and the saturation LEDs will light indicating that we reach the saturation level. our playout room. We will open the playout monitor and we will as well open the playout server. In the playout server we can create our own playlist. We will introduce the name of the event, choose a logo and select whether our event will be real-time or coming from file. We will also select the type of event. When it is time for the event to start it will be displayed automatically in our monitor. Now we will create an event coming from a loop file in our server. Once we create the event, it will be listed in our playlist following the first event that we created. As the first event is finished, it will be highlighted in red in the time to next event box and then it will change. You can see the logo inserted in this picture. We will now create another event and show the skip function. Skip function will allow to jump from one event to the next. So with the playout server, we complete the production of our content. But Lamu Studio is more than just a training tool. It is perfect for outside broadcast or sports events, thanks to the reduced amount of hardware needed for the production and the configuration flexibility. So Lamu Studio is truly a studio in a box.